Hey everyone, welcome if you're new or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be finishing up my spring decorating in several different areas of my home. I will be also sharing a little bit about my mindfulness journey and how I am transferring these practices into designing a more peaceful home. We are going to get started here in my kitchen today. And before I started any of my spring decorating this year, I took some time to think about some of the themes that I wanted to incorporate into my spring decor. I always like to incorporate some fun and whimsical pieces into my decor for my girls. So I introduced just a few birds and bunnies into my spring decor for them. This year for spring, I added just some simple white tulips. I also incorporated this really charming propagation vase that you could put faux florals in, but you could also add real florals like I am doing here. I happen to have these extra carnations from a bouquet and they didn't quite fit. So I thought that they would look really charming in this little vase here. to simplify my decor was one of the things I really wanted to focus on for the springtime. I wanted to add just a few pieces that were charming and added some character but were still simple and not overpowering in the space. To finish off this area where my shelf is, I am just going to be adding some greenery in this thrifted basket and then I also added just a little bit of greenery to the hanging pot that stays here year round. Finding these little pots really inspired me to start thinking about the decor in my kitchen a little bit different. So be sure that you are subscribed because I have some really charming updates coming to my kitchen that I am excited to share with all of you. Springtime is one of my absolute favorite times of the year. I really love the hope that it brings. Comment down below to let me know what you love most about spring and what you are looking forward to. I recently came across this quote and it really spoke to me. The quote said, your home should be the antidote to your stress, 
not the cause of it. Which brings me to today's mindful home decorating tip, which is your home should definitely bring you joy and peace. It is most definitely okay to have pieces in your home that simply bring you joy. There are many pieces in my home that do just that. I think the important thing is to have balance here and to really just take the time to pause and consider. I really wanted to add some hope and happiness and joy to my home for the springtime and a really great way to do that is to incorporate just a little bit of color. So I have the subtle use of pink and sage green that I introduced into my home for the springtime. I am on a quest to create a more joyful, peaceful, and calm home. Speaking of spaces in my home that help me to remind myself to be a better person, let's go ahead and head into my sitting room and add just a few subtle touches of spring to this space. This is a space in our home that is really reserved for reading and relaxing and just taking the time to enjoy each other's company. There is no technology in this space, so no cell phones, no iPads, no TV. It is simply a space that has been created to really take the time to work on yourself and to build relationships within our family. adding this wooden tray to the ottoman from my kitchen and I am also going to be adding these really pretty simple florals that bring just a hint of color and putting them in this white pitcher and to finish off the look we're going to be adding some books and these vintage inspired floral candlesticks. Ultimately, what my goal is, is to create a home that reminds me and encourages me of the kind of person that I want to be in daily life. I am definitely a work in progress and so is my home and that is okay.
your home is the space that greets anyone who enters it first. I always like my entryway to be bright and inviting without being cluttered. videos I have shared how I am trying to be more intentional and mindful in my daily life and how I am also transferring those practices into how I think about my home and also how I design the spaces in my home. this floral arrangement in this thrifted basket in a previous video about countertop styling and floral arrangements for spring. So if you haven't checked out that video and need some more inspiration, be sure to look at that one next. Underneath the bench, I'm adding this basket for some warmth and texture, as well as this light textured blanket in this really pretty sage green color. In my living room this year for my spring decor, I wanted to keep things pretty simple, but also incorporate just a little bit of color by introducing some pinks and just a little bit of sage green. Inside the tray is a group of clear bud vases of different varying sizes and shapes. To those bud vases, I added these really pretty and simple magnolia stems. You could also add real stems here and that would be just as beautiful. working here decorating for the springtime, I found myself thinking about how recently I was going through some of my home decor items that I had acquired over the last several months. And when I was doing that, I found myself really thinking about my relationship with the things that I have in my home. As I was sitting there going through the home decor items that I had and had acquired, I took some time to seriously consider what I wanted to keep and also in that moment giving myself a little bit of grace for the home decorating mistakes that I have made and now can learn from. Going forward, I've decided that I'm going to be extremely selective about the things that I am purchasing and bringing into my home. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and for decorating for spring 2023. I also hope that you loved chatting about creating a more mindful, peaceful, and intentional home. 
If you enjoy this kind of content, a really wonderful way to show your support is to please give this video a like and to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you need some more ideas and inspiration for home decorating, be sure to check out these two videos and I will see you soon in my next one.